Now that you have built your calculator, there are two ways you could use it. Uh, the first one, uh, you could add a title, some text, like create a whole landing page around this calculator and just host it on um, Bubble and publish your landing page with whatever uh, domain name you'd like. Um, and the second one uh, is um, super interesting because I'm going to show you how you could embed uh, just this calculator on your own website or blog. So in order to do so, you will need to use an iframe. Uh, if you don't know what is an iframe, iframe is short for inline frame and it is an HTML uh, document, uh, an HTML element, sorry, which will allow you to embed a website inside another website. Um, when you are embedding um, videos in your in a blog post, for example, you are using an iframe. So here I'm going to show you how to generate an iframe uh, from your Bubble app. So in order to allow Bubble to render your calculator as an iframe, you need to go to Settings, General, and here you have allowed to render the app in a frame iframe, and you need to choose all allow, allow all iframes. And now that this is done, um, please check the size of your page. So here uh, the width is 960, and I encourage you uh, that the uh, height of your uh, page is the same as your um, your calculator. So here we have 960 per uh, 540. And now uh, you need to deploy uh, your app so we, you can use the live URL to render it as an iframe. Great, so this has been deployed. Uh, you can go to uh, live. Got it. And you can preview your live app. And we are going to use this URL to generate an iframe. So remove the debug uh, thing and just uh, copy uh, this URL. And next, you need to go to the website iframegenerator.com. I'll include the link uh, in the text down below. And you just uh, paste uh, the iframe URL. Um, next, I encourage you to change uh, this thing. So for width, um, you are going to choose, sorry, 300, 320. And for the eighth, you'll just check uh, whatever was uh, the eighth of your app. So here it was 540. So let's put 540. Great. Uh, perfect. You can put like, for example, calculator, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's say we don't want a border. Uh, yes, you can preview it if you like. But if you're confident, okay, it's it looks good. Uh, and just click on generate and uh, copy copy this uh, code and um, you'll be able to use it on your website. Uh, for this example, I will show you how to embed it in WordPress. So once you have copied this code, uh, just go to uh, your website. Here we are on a WordPress uh, blog post. So let's say this is a blog uh, post and you'd like to include your calculator uh, inside this blog post. So uh, just go to your code editor and paste uh, the code you've just uh, created thanks to the iframe generator. Great. So once this is pasted, you can exit the code editor. And you can see that uh, it is showing. Uh, you can center it. Uh, it's, it. Sometimes it doesn't work right away because I think it's like loading 
but you can center it. Okay, great, it worked. So center it for it to look good on the desktop. And uh, once this is done, you can save drafts and preview, uh, preview the look of your calculator. Okay, so uh, on desktop it looks good and let's check if it works. It should work. Perfect, so it works. And let's see how it looks uh, on mobile. So you can click on uh, inspect. Perfect. So as you can see, it is also perfectly uh, good uh, on mobile. So uh, this was uh, an example of how to include embed a calculator on, uh, in a blog post, but you can really include it whenever uh, you'd like. And you can use this technique to create a nice call to action. Like uh, you can do the same, like if you have, for example, uh, an ebook to download, you can create this in a few clicks uh, in Bubble. So it is really a nice uh, tool to have in your marketing toolbox.